what's your thoughts on Hastings Pier? I think the pier is fantastic. And like most people in Hastings, I was gutted when it was burnt down and campaigned and helped arrange the right people and helped lobby Heritage Lottery Foundation to get the money in and was just fantastically excited when it was opened. And I think it's really disappointing that it's been closed and that it continues to be closed. Um, I am more, most thing, the thing I'm most concerned about is getting the pier reopened and making sure that it's free for everybody to go on. So that's what I'm continuing to push for. Uh, what are your thoughts on cannabis legalisation? I have to say I'm against it. Um, I do think it should be, all drug policy should be evidence-based, but at the moment there is no reason to change it. Not even for like, medical purposes? Oh no, we have, yeah, that's fair enough. We have said that it's going to be allowed uh, for medicinal purposes, yeah. and the new Home Secretary put some of that in place, which is good, and I think there's a very strong case to make sure that, properly handled, that can take place. But I'm generally I'm concerned at the idea of cannabis legalisation because um, I don't think it helps young people in terms of their life choices and it's also, it is proven to have quite a nasty effect on some people um, in terms of potential schizophrenia when they get older. I think that people who want to campaign for legalisation of cannabis will have a better case to make depending on the evidence we see from the countries and the areas that are now legalising it. What is the government currently doing to combat homelessness in the UK? Well, I think that homelessness is a terrible thing and I want to see as little of it as possible. The latest figures that came out showed that at last the efforts that we've been putting into reducing homelessness are beginning to work and the number of homelessness has been going up every year for four or five years but in fact this year it started to come down. So that's something positive. We've seen it grow over the past four or five years. Um, in, the, in London, a third of the homeless people are from the European Union. So they come here, they are uh, sometimes sleeping rough, and some of them are working. And we've tried to enforce the European Union rules so that they go home um, rather than be homeless. But it has been impossible to do so. So I would say that's one of the causes. A third is quite a lot. But I think that we do need to do more, and the question about the policies that we've put in place is a fair one, insofar as it shows that with something we can do about it, which is now what we are doing, and it's now coming down a bit. What's the government going to do about the water and plastics and we get up? Well, we, I think we've done quite a lot over the past few months, particularly in raising awareness now. Um, you know, we put, the, of course, the, uh, the fee on plastic bags. Um, and everybody's much more aware about the need to recycle and to limit the use of plastic. Um, we have put some proposals forward about voluntary use to make sure that smaller shops as well who were excluded before are now included in the plastic bag ban. And, um, you know, I think, I think that most people are moving towards, if you go into most cafes or if you go into, in Parliament certainly, most people are recycling their coffee cups and their bottles of water. So it feels quite positive in terms of nudging people towards it, as well as some portions of legislation. There are kids going on strike this Friday because of the climate. What do you think about the climate strikers? Well, I like seeing kids getting involved. And I like seeing them stepping up and saying that adults need to do something about climate change. Uh, you know, it's a balance between making sure that they don't lose out on their lessons. You know, nobody wants them to lose out on their education. But I think it's a positive thing to see young people involved in one of the biggest issues that we're facing. So the final question is from Mihai, who's from Romania. Shouldn't we just cancel Brexit? Um, I'm afraid, Mihai, we can't do that. Uh, I campaigned very hard to remain, but I also stood on a platform and said, if you vote to leave, I will help to deliver that. So I feel a very strong sense of obligation to do that. But I would also like to reassure him that the type of Brexit I want will protect his rights and make sure that it protects our businesses as far as possible.